Hello, hello. J-Pop with more. J-Pop is back. That's me. I'm back. More Monster Rancher 2. Alright. So, our door hand is two years, five months. Um. And. We just got to B rank. Two years, two months-ish. Is when. He. What did um, he started coming into his prime, and we've got a bunch of moves for him. There's still many more moves to get, um, but now that he's in his prime, I don't want to waste any time on that, and we're going to train the lots out of him. I don't care for any tournaments. Skill change not necessary. Um, maybe he hasn't quite hit his prime. Feels like he's hit his prime though, and it's more apparent when he does the power training. Yep, some more sweet Durahan training. That's what we got going on. <clears throat> Learn any cool moves yet? Yeah, we were, we uh got a whole bunch of moves. Let me go through them for ya. Um, the Twister Slash is a good move up front. The flash slash, I have never found it to be that great. And really not, it's, it doesn't feel like a C accuracy. It feels like a D minus. A uh, million stabs. Strong staple, good force. Very, very accurate. Uh, dash slash, which is the tech chain of, of rush slash. But it feels like it's A accuracy. I don't think it gets that much credit on an A accuracy. And I definitely don't think it gets the credit of a C Force. Um, Charge, one of my all-time favorites. S Accuracy, it's a strong D plus force. And it's definitely S Accuracy. Jumping Stab, I've never found that much success with this move. A lot of it's based on its crit. But C Accuracy, C Force, I feel like its accuracy is a C minus. Its force is a C. And Rolling Slash. B-Force, D-Accuracy, I would give it a C-Accuracy. It's a, For B-Force, it's pretty accurate. It's strong. It's a good move to pull out in the back if you need it. How much are stat gains on a pull? See, stat gains are 20 power on a full. So that gives me... Uh, indication that he's in his prime we got a lot of moves but he still has more moves he has I won't say the largest but in terms of in terms of ranking he's got a lot of moves to learn he still has at least four more moves to learn at least four useful ones Six if you include his intelligent ones that I'm not going to learn because he's a power monster. Was he two years and five months right now? So still really, really young. For two years and five months, he has level eight. He's almost hit the 400 mark on three stats, level six. I'm hoping to get as close to 999 for all four of those stats as possible. And I'm gonna train like it. He's 
is getting big now too. I have decided that with this Durahan, I will silver and golden peach him. Only because I have another silver and a golden peach. And my reasoning for that is, one, I need the inventory space. Um, two, with the silver and golden peach, you get the silver from the Elder Cup, the golden peach on Expedition. Uh, I'll get golden peaches as they come along, uh, which will be nice. And if I use a silver and a golden peach on, on him, I will, uh, see 15, defense only goes up by 15 here, and I believe defense should be a stronger stat, that's why it confuses me, um, if I use the silver and golden peach on him, he should make the six year mark, plus, on, besides the fact he has a longer life, he's been peached, so his life should live longer, and we should be able to get well into the seven years of his life. Maybe even eight. That may be a bit of a stretch. Um, I'm sure gonna try. But if he's in that, we'll be able to get more silver, pe silver peaches. Because getting it is... Is harder because you need you need an older monster to get there. It's the way it works. And I could really stand to use the inventory space. Now, to answer your question of whether I'll train a galley or a joker, um, I want to train a joker. I have yet to get the joker mask. Um, as for the galley, I've yet to find a galley in a disc. Um, I do plan on having a session where I go through a whole bunch of CDs or discs and whatnot and find certain monsters that I'm looking for and seeing what else we come across. It's, it's, it'll be a fun part of the game. It is a fun part of the game. But I also need to consider um, like my inventory space because I have this one that I need to train. This one's a second generation. Um, I need to figure out what I need to do with Neko, Zelnorak. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with those. Shimmy, I gotta find a combination for. He's a champion. Um, Freckle Face will eventually go to go away, and I and I will combine a Bajral again. Cause his stats. I mean, his stats are off the charts and I want to try to preserve those but I need to find the right way to do it so it's more of a space issue right now and I have all these items you know maybe maybe I should just unlock them centaur I kind of wanted to train again Um, but maybe I'll, I'll pass it over only because there are so many monsters to train, so many and getting, getting to all of them, it feels impossible. Hello Z, whenever you fall asleep I hope you have sweet dreams, the sweetest of dreams. You know what, I think I might do that, I think I may use... I may like unlock a dragon because it's not hard to get the dragon tusk. It's not hard to get the dragon tusk. Um, the undying I want to raise. The centaur. Yeah, I have the dragon tusk. The centaur. 
I bet I can make a better centaur than when I originally did. <laughs> it's... I want to raise a galley. Galleys are fun. Uh, I want to raise a joker. They're fun. Um, I want to try my hand at a pixie again. Now that I know the game better. I will say that I want to unlock like if I uh, cuz I have four discs right now that I don't know who's what monsters on there but like say if I make a centaur and then get rid of the centaur and eventually find another centaur be fine or if I use the dragon tusks and one of the discs that I have um, is a dragon then great um, the duck in, I have the quack doll, I just, I have all these items accumulated. We, we are off again to try to find the joker mask. I have been unsuccessful so far. I wonder, uh, I'll say this, if I find another golden peach, my next round, expedition round with this monster, I will use it on this monster, just so that I don't have to spend the time training another monster, uh, to do this. Uh, he's done well. Is he the best? No, but he's definitely more than adequate. As I say that, he can't break these pillars. Come on, freckle face. Push with your wall harder. This is rough. There we go. We'll be down 80, 90 energy. I think 60. So I got about 12 attempts to make, uh, to go through this. All the hopes and dreams are dashed. I think I will definitely make the dragon and then get rid of him. Um, the dragon... The dragon is easy enough to get again. I would have said a B rank tournament. So if I really want a dragon, I can make a mission to get the dragon tusk for the dragon. Um, it's the ones like the centaur and the undying that kind of have me worried. Because I don't think... You can't... I don't think you can find another, another spear. I don't think you can find another slate so when I when I I want to make sure that I do the undying because I've never raised one before oh, we don't need the happy um, let's see uh, I've raised a duckin before. Um, I would like my hand at him again, but uh, I'm not dying to, to raise a duckin again. And being able to get the cup jellies doesn't seem all that hard. No, you were to make a left. You needed to make a left. Three more attempts. Oh, boo. His spoo. Am 
Make a right! No. The Joker mask still eludes me. It continues to elude me. What's a decent amount? Um, I guess 500 is probably a really good benchmark. I'll, sh I'll show you uh, Freckle Faces um, in a sec. Probably 500 is, is the good mark. But here, I'll put it in perspective. Um, so he has 400 intelligence. He does find stuff. Um, it's not, you know, it's not that bad. Um, you know, he's done well, well enough. All of these stats right here produce well enough. Um, of course, more is uh, more is better. Uh, I I could never deny that. He's able to move objects out of the way with with the a power that he has. He has found some secret um, passages, shortcuts in the map with this level of intelligence. This model's retired. All he does is go on vacation. Oh. Mr. Boyce, welcome. He likes me now. He used to hate me. And he hates battle, so... that That's why this monster, basically, I subjected him to, to this. Um... Give him nuts oil. So I guess decent is this 400. I find it decent. Um, it's what the evidence you see here represents. Don't worry, Mr. Boyce, we were just taking a little vacation. That's all. Alright, I, I have decided. I'm going to unlock some monsters, and I'm going to get rid of them. Just so that I can say, uh, just so that I have unlocked them. Because I really, I just really need to open up inventory space. So, for starters, I'm gonna save just in case if I F up. We'll grab ourselves a suit. Blah, blah, blah. We'll grab ourselves a zoom.
I don't know why they decided to call them zooms. Um, well, okay. Now that I remember why, let me let me retract my statement and explain. Um, in Monster Rancher 1, they were called dinos. In this one, they're called zooms. And it's like, why? They're the same monster. But I forget that we are on the separated island from the game of Monster Rancher 1, which the Fimba Association runs. This is the Aima Association. Um, we're gonna take this time killer, time waster, and A. And I'm going to use... I'm gonna make a duckin'. I can get more cup jellies and get another doll. I probably should have just sold the doll. No, no, unlocking him. I I should unlock him first. Did you use that strong glue? Yes, I found it on my adventure. Interesting. I'll study it. Well, take good care of it. That, um, when the continent split, the race Dino evolved differently on the island. Dino and Fimba, Zoom and the other one. So that's, that, that's my own explanation of what happened. Excuse me, I'm gonna open a window because it's hot. Alright, I've turned on the air conditioner instead. One, I've never run it. Uh, and if it's loud and you guys hear it, please let me know. Um, it might be loud. You guys might be hearing it as I speak. I'm gonna make bets that you guys can hear that. Dragon Tusk. It does feel nice having aircon though. Look at that dragon. Rawr. I will give this dragon a name. Um, this dragon's name shall be. I can't think of any good names. Drawn up a total blank. 
Ian. Ian the dragon. Likes milk, dislikes fish. Okay. A little bit of inventory space for a little uh, ease of life. <laughs> They probably make better subtypes than they do uh, main types. The Siren, is that is that the un Undying? Um, no, I have not. I want to hold on to that one. That one, I want to make sure I get the right monsters prepped when I combine and make one. And... Give it its proper justice. I've never tr really trained one before, and I wanted I'll, I want to give my best effort on it. Oh, where are your stats at? Your life is a little behind your skill. I kind of want your life to be higher. Better get thinking of a good name. Oh, oh. What would be a good name? She's got blizzard moves, right? So we could just, you know, put, let it go? I'm kidding. I would not do that. I would never do that. You know what? I got it. When I think about it calmly, I know exactly what name I'm gonna give it. My moderators are gonna give me shit for it, too. That is... I don't know what it could be. I have no idea what it could be. It sure is a mystery. I have... I have no possible idea of... What name I, I would give her. Say make is my car. <laughs> Sorry, it's not going to be Cleo. I think I gave the wrong thing to him. Yo, I want to see how much a run gives me. Find out. 
can't really find out when he does great. We could get a dragon! Maybe! rest. You deserve it. I gotta do my homework first before I make the Undying. Um, I wanna make sure I, I get that monster right. I've never trained one before, so I won't know any of the small intricacies about it but if I if I do my research learn her stats learn her moves um, I could get an idea of, of what I want to do and how to how to raise her as it goes along should we start naming monsters all after car types Call a golem Honda. We could name, uh, you know what? That, that's you know what? Maybe maybe that isn't such a good idea. <laughs> All I can think of when it came to the mind was Honda. Now let me ask you, what do you have against the Honda Civic? Ten life, man, that's good. I will say personally that I got tired. Nothing. Oh. The new type R is nice. The, the Civic R's are really nice. I got tired of Honda Civics only because when. Need, uh, not Need for Speed, um, what was it, Fast and Furious came out, and the whole drift scene, and everybody being all ricer this and that, um, there was so many Civics in, in my town, that they basically did the muffler on it, so it just sounded loud and fast, but you know, you hear it, and it's going like regular car speed. Everyone thought they were cool, everyone with this, that, and the other, and I was flat out disgusted. I was disappointed. There were some who had respectable ones. 
It was just... All, it was just 95 of everyone else that really just annoyed the, the, the bejesus out of me. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, to... It just... It got ruined by the shitty... By the shitty ones. Mm -hmm. The civics these days, they're, they're not made like that anymore. And pretty much in my town, that 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 phase has passed. It's oh, I missed my chance to try to get a golden peach. But not this time. I was actually looking um, at the uh, the Scion FRS. Um, I was so close. I test drove it, and I was so close to purchasing that vehicle. I wanted to buy it. 2007 brand new van. 10 years? Okay, yeah. He got his mileage out of the car. Um, I wanted the Scion FRS so badly. And I contemplated. And then I decided to do the adult thing. And I decided just to get a Mazda 3. Get better gas mileage and lower car payments. So I decided against the FRS, and I didn't get it. I adulted and got a adult car. It's okay because it has stick. It's my first stick shift. I've known how to drive it, but I could never get a stick shift by circumstances before. So for me, at least I have that. Uh, Mazda. Oh, the Toyota? The Toyota FRS? It's Scion here in America, but it's the same. Scion, Toyota, Lexus. Um, yeah, the FRS is Toyota, and I wanted that one. I wanted it real, real bad. But the one that, yes, they are. I was, you can't see it, but I'm squeezing my fingers together. I was this close. But I decided that I needed something with less monthly payments and better gas mileage. So I did that. I don't regret my decision either. How much are monthly payments for me? Uh, what's my monthly payment? $230 a month? Uh, for the Scion, for, for the FRS, I don't, know, I don't know, what was that gonna be? Four, four seventy-five? Yeah, it was gonna be... I decided to do the right thing. I decided that in my life, things like uh, moving out of my parents' place and getting an apartment was more important than having a nice shiny car. That went really fast and had a possible and a high potential to uh, get myself killed in. Did I 
do skill? I don't remember which training I just did. Yeah, very, very wise move. If I want my driving kicks, I go to a go-kart racing track. And do that. Go-kart racing's fun. They're great. <laughs> Those are some of the most dangerous little machines on this planet. I no longer have that I mean I guess I'll always and forever have that need for speed it's uh I loved it too much I loved racing too much there's plenty of also legal <laughs> Jensen button what's a Jensen button um uh, I did a lot of legal racing as well. I wasn't a drag racer kind of deal thing. I did a lot of autocross. I love sharp corners and turning and braking. Straight lines don't excite me. It means very little to me. Oh, he's an F1 driver. Whew. Man. I would love to I would love to go to a Formula One race. God, those machines I couldn't imagine. I understand that most Formula One racers start in go-kart racing. Um, conceptually they're they're very, very similar, um, car wise. Lewis Hamilton? <laughs> yeah, I know they do. I know they do. And boy, I like. I know go karts don't have rear view mirrors, but I like chasing someone down and playing peekaboo in their rear view mirror. Oh, it's so much fun. I try to get as many people flagged as possible. All this conversation, I'm forgetting my training order. That's alright. He's just gonna do great. You'll be fine. We'll get it done. I wish just once in a while I would go and get the track all to myself. I just want there to be no one. Not a single soul. And just like have my own personal uh, time trial of the track. And just give it a go. A lot of the times what I do is that I try to find where the biggest gap of people are. And just and just hang back and let the person in front get away from me. And then when the next lap rolls around, I just hit the gas and, and I go as quick as possible and chase down that person down in the distance so that I can get a really, really fast lap time in. Cause it's hard in a crowd. It's hard in a crowd now, and I'm not in a league, you know, where they pay attention, it's a bit more professional, no. I always get stuck in a crowd. And if they don't move when they get, when they get flagged, I have to try to maneuver around them. 
And eventually I just get tired of it, make a little bit of contact, and make space and make my way through. I will say that I did not give racing um, the endurance credit that it deserves. Um, there was one time we went to, me and my friends, we went to an autocross event. Starts in the morning, um, and it goes into the afternoon, and we, uh, after it was done, you basically, if people wanted to and stay or whatever, there was something called free runs. You pay a dollar to go back out onto the course and run a lap. And we did that for four hours after after the event. So, so we got our fill of racing in. But boy, do I remember when we left that... Uh, that I was tired, I was dog tired. My concentration dropped, um, and I just wanted to get home and go to sleep. And I didn't really realize trying to stay at fast speeds at high, at a high pace for long periods of time, even in like short bursts, you know, Doing it for four hours, having two minutes out on the course for a short burst, and then getting off for ten minutes. That at the end we were all worn down. We were we were beat. And I can't imagine how um especially NASCAR drivers, because they're the ones that have the endurance race. While uh, Formula One not so much. That's that's like a big race segment. That one, I feel like I could do, but like NASCAR, like to be on the track for that long with with that protective uh, gear on inside a helmet, um, they they got they got to do a lot to keep their concentration up because I could see it slipping um, very very easily. But man, to be a Formula One driver, I'm not sure how much those cars cost, but I'm gonna say if I had a billion dollars at my at, at the grip of my hands, I, I mean, I'd be scared to wreck it. Yeah, you make me want to race. You make me want to go out and drive. I want to feel what 100 miles per hour feels like again. I barely remember what 90 feels like. I keep forgetting my training order. No, I believe I did you last time. Do you. I won't tell kids to go out and not be dumb and stupid. I won't encourage them to do it either. 
But I will never forgive them if they do not wear their seatbelts. Seatbelt saves lives. Plain and simple. Yes. Okay, having AC was nice, but I'm gonna turn it off because I think I'll just use the window. Okay. Heavy low AC thank you. Almost everything. I'm basically halfway done raising it. So at this pace, six years. We did nine 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 nine? Nine 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 nine? nine? Four nines? So much quieter now that uh now that I turn off the AC. Of course I have the noises now from outside, but I personally don't mind. It's it's relatively quiet here. Training stats have dipped just a hair. Just a hair. I wonder if it's time to use the uh, golden peach. <laughs> As far as my understanding of how the peaches work, they don't add years at the end of their life, 
what they do is they rewind the time that you spent. So if so with that idea in concept, you know, they hit their prime and their training stats, you know, gains go through the roof. And then afterwards, after they're done, then they start a decline. So you want to find... You want to find a way to keep them... To roll back the clock and keep them in their prime. Now, 50 weeks is about a year in this game's time. And that's what a Golden Peach does. And it was two years, two months when I said he's coming into his prime or he hit his prime. Somewhere around there. So it might be time soon enough. Did I? Um, I, think, I think I gave him a nuts oil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Good. So he still gets 20 over there. So he's still well into his prime. And I don't think I should overthink it all too much. I may use a golden peach um, in a couple months anyway. Because if he just still stays within his prime, he's still within his prime. It's the beginning part of his prime. His skill's halfway there. Just give him nuts oil, so a heavy training. Okay, life is holding holding steady. Life goes up will go up a lot more if I do more defensive air entries or training. I wonder I remember trying this but with a different monster. The heavy lights, heavy lights regiments that I've been doing right now but I think what what the big deal what makes a difference ooh seven skill is this right here is the tablets the tablets reduce a whole bunch of stress and if that's the case, it probably will enable me to do to do this loop indefinitely um, without causing any stress issues. I haven't crunched the numbers on it, but that's why tablets are the best for your monster in this game. But it's only the best if they like it. Hello, penguin. Welcome, welcome. We are just still into. In the get him buff mode. As you can tell, we're getting stats buff. He's not too darn smart, though. He got his education from the United States of America. He's beefed up, huh? I can't wait till I start taking him back into tournaments. If I could get all four of those stats to 99999, Golden Set, the champion of Capua. He's great hit at 11. Mm. 
And you know what? How old is he? Four months? Five months into three years? Four months? I'm gonna do it now. This will be my first golden peach. Here you are. Roll back the clock. We've got training to do. But because this is a rollback clock, I'm going to rest. So effectively, we just gained another year on his lifespan. Defense is good. We'll get more defense. He's got a lot of moves as well, but we still have more moves to get. How many moves have we gotten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven extra moves besides the base two. And I think there's like six more moves? Four at least usable. That I can think of off the top of my head. buy items. Since his tech tree isn't that complicated, I'm not gonna need to fight many tournaments um, to get his moves, he should be able to get his moves. So I'm not worried about that. We need a nut oil and mint leaf. I'm just gonna use a mint leaf. It'd help if I remember my training regiment. But I get distracted so easily. Streaming for has it been two hours? No, no, no. Yes? Gosh, I don't know. Thing is, he's slow as dog dirt. He's gonna get hit by every attack. Part of the reason why training a Durahan is probably really, really easy. Because, um, I mean, you do your drill skill, but you have this pull which goes power life and you lose the speed. But here you get the defense and life and lose intelligence. You don't care about intelligence. And you... You get double life, and then you also get defense. Lots of defense. So, it's not dodging the hits. Um, is how you handle it. I messed up his training regiments. Alright, I'll try to correct it. I mean, if you have max life, max max defense, there's there's no hit, there's no one hit KO. There's just none that exists for that type of monster. The only time is if 
you've hit them or you've hit you know a monster basically if a monster gets into critical and gets power then yes then there's a one shot but it's not like right out the gates boom one shot and you've lost not for that type of monster I could probably take this monster all the way to S rank now no not S rank A rank Maybe 2S rank, past A rank. S rank would be a little rough. But let's get him buff as fuck. I can correct the the mistake on my training regiment. So the only thing to do is to give him a rest. He does deserve it. OCD trying to keep this life and defense stuff as not as even as possible but within within an evenness of sorts who's there mail mail time mail time mail time I am going to need to start going to tournaments soon. What have I gone through? Thirty-five, forty thousand dollars. I spent all this money on this monster. But to be honest, I, I expect to make it all back between the S tournaments and the uh, the um, the end, the f greatest four tournaments. Which one did I do? I did the power one. I mean, those tournaments are 10,000 each victory, plus, plus win bonuses. He's getting tall. He's getting really, really tall. <laughs> when he was just a tiny little armor. Maybe I should just skip A rank and go straight into S. So I want to I want to train him in his prime. Then after his prime's over, or his stats gets maxed maxed out first, which <laughs> at this rate, whichever happens first, 
Um, just getting the fights in probably is is what's important. Not not actually getting the fights in, but getting the ranks. So what if he skips A? Uh, we're not going for any special tournaments. We're not trying to grab really any special items. We're trying to make the one hit killing machine the bringer of rain. Of all the monsters, this is the monster that needs to go up against Zero's best monster, which probably will be this one. Bajal currently is my best. That one right now is my best. The ghost is third best. Uh, well, second best right now. But if we look at... But this one's getting the special, special treatment. It's getting the golden peach. It will get the silver peach when the time comes. It already, it's already eaten its golden peach. It has a longer lifespan than the Bajal. Than the ghost. At 10 plus years? So if we can get this thing to 7, 8 years? I mean, look at these stats. It'd be a miracle if I got his speed up to 400. But we're gonna max all these stats. It's gonna happen. We're gonna get there. And I've forgotten if I fed my monster or not. And this monster's moveset, it has it all. It has its real ac accurate moves. It has its, um, accurate and, um... The, the more middle accurate but powerful kind of move. It has his not, it's, it's a D accuracy but really, really strong attack. And it has his S attacks. I mean, this will have the life and the defense. I wonder though, I just thought of it now, I wonder if Zero will try to make basically the perfect intelligence monster, only to uh, combat what a power monster does. If he does, I'll be very impressed. The thing is, though, is that with the sustaining aspects of monsters, um, you have life, speed, and defense. Um, Durahan works so well because his life and defense are in tandem. They stay really, really strong, and you have to get through both. I mean, you could have high life and high speed, but most monsters don't give you that. Um, it's hard to get a monster with life and speed. What's up, Ambient? Yes, we are training the Durahan. Oh, I'm counting in my head. There we go. Uh -huh. We are in his prime right now, so the flat out goal is to train his stats and get him as buff as we can. As buff as possible. 
I went and got moves during his earlier development. As many moves as I could at first, and I will get the rest of his moves later in the back end. But as you see right now, he's 3 years, 9 months. He's got 4 stats that are looking amazing. He's not too smart and his feet are made of lead. Probably because of the armor. And we have moves. This Durahan has already received a Golden Peach. He will also receive a Silver Peach in due time. I'm getting there. What if the armor doesn't rust? That's defense right there. When you got defense that beats science, you're doing something right. Let's look. No rust. Defense get. He just walks as cheating. <laughs> you know, to be honest though, because he's hollow inside, you know, he has two different resistances. He has the resistance on the outside of his armor, and then the inside of the back of the armor. So, you know, he may be walking, but he, you know, that's double the resistance. What's up, Cavaro? No. Mine couldn't find an ant in an ant farm. I think I messed up my training regiments again. back on track. He is well, so we can one of those. I was not too far off. Or his life is still staying, staying around 80-ish away from his skill. So those all stay consistent. Yes, I'm doing a hard light, hard light. I don't know. I, I haven't looked up somebody's best formula. For me, it's... it's when he's well, which, which should come after a heart, I give him a mint leaf 
and I will do a light training now. And then after this light training, I give him a nuts oil and do a hard training. I think you can only do this training if you have a monster that likes tablets. Because the tablets help knock down the stress. Because you eventually get behind on the stress um, when doing this method. But the tablets, um, I think, are the key to knock the stress down so that you never lose weeks with this method. Nuts oil, do a hard. I have to say it out loud and try to remember because I get mixed up a lot. I just gave him a mint leaf, so there. 10 skill, what do we need? 30 more skills before he hits 900 plus. If you have three Gemini pots, your monster can be neutral to tablets. Usually, um, when it comes to getting monsters, uh, neutral to tablets, uh, it doesn't say anymore, it says he likes me, but neutral to tablets is not the same as if a monster likes tablets. You get extra benefits from the foods when the monster likes it. So, when you make a monster and you're trying to go for the serious one, it's gonna cost so much money because the tablets are expensive but roll keep rolling them until you get tablets I forgot I used a mint leaf and did so I gotta buy nuts oil I gotta buy and use a nuts oil too I burned through half my savings with this monster. Oh, the pot's making up the difference. I I have to admit. Mm, okay, no. The, the sculpture and the pots, they are effective enough. And I think the Gemini pot is probably the most effective out of all of them. Since I gave him a nut spoil. I should be doing one of these. We sing a song. Not exactly breaking down the numbers. I just know I haven't gotten the stress message from Colt doing this method. And, uh... As long as she doesn't say it, I'll keep doing this. Four years. What is he at? Six fifty on all stats. Six 
700. Sword of 650, alright. But this is basically the way to get the monster of your dreams. Have lots of money, give them lots of herbs and oils. Speed is so slow. <laughs> Get you because those stats are so low whenever I fight in tournaments um, it will probably give those it probably always give intelligent stat and push it back up His intelligence is three. <laughs> Let's fix that. Now somebody asked the question and, and people in the chat and myself by logically thinking about it think that a stat can't go any lower than one. Only because it sounds like it would mess up the math of monsters uh, if you did that. But I'm willing to give it a look-see. We will test out this theory. And if actually that's the case, probably one of the best things you could do is getting your stats up to nines. And then when you're finally done doing all of the heavy training, you got all sorts of mail. When you're done with the heavy training and you start doing fights, you will get the speed up and you won't be doing anything that will drop the speed down. You know, I could use a sale. I may be rich, but I'm not as rich as I think I am. a true headache if I was a real monster rancher um, spending my money like this on this monster I didn't mean to go to the shop again I would use the nuts orbs we had some before I want to save it like I've just spent half of my my entire savings on this monster but if this was real life and he caught a disease or he tripped on a rock and fell down a bottomless pit If I were to lose my entire investment on this super grand monster that I'm saving to fight later, it I I would just die inside if, if he just died and everything was lost. So what if you have a Joker mask, huh? 
I still have... I still have, uh... A Bajaral disc. I still want a Joker mask. I want to make the Jokers... The first time? I've been there like four or five times and I still haven't gotten it. Man, Durhan's just gonna walk into a tournament and everybody's gonna quit. Got 700. We're almost there. No, he's rank B now. I got a little bit of fighting in for some of the uh, tech chaining. And then uh, got up to B so that the Aaron tree was open. And then when I got there, um, he, he hit his prime. So I've stopped, I've ceased all, um, all other activities. And just gone into straight training regiments. And I'm thinking of, gonna skip the, of skipping the official B and go straight to official A. Um, I, I have no reason to fight in, in these tournaments. The money really doesn't mean anything to me. I'm sure I'll make it back at S rank. Um, it said seems well. So I need That's oil. Um, after he's done after his prime, I'll finish getting the rest of his moves. I just don't want to waste his time. Uh, I don't want to waste his prime on anything else but training. I mean, I'll say I'm not a perfectionist, but this one I'm trying with the best of my ability to make a near perfect Durahan. And for me, perfect will be um, 999s in um, in life power, skill, and defense. At least 950. Depending on how close we are, I may just be like, you know what, screw it. I want to see all the 9s there. See the bottom left he's rank B. Alright, his life has slipped some. His life is 110. It used to be 80. But that's away from skill. I'm just trying to keep things relatively close. But I noticed that you get more life from the swimming skill, and the swimming skill, you don't really get the 20s like how you do with the pull. Um, I think that's how they designed it, so... I will be getting a lot of his life from the defensive one. But I will probably, at the very end, um... be doing uh, life runs to top off his life. Maybe he'll come in tournaments. Who knows? Swim is bugged if you have the American version? How so? What is this swim bug that you s you get more life than you're supposed to? Okay. And I, I, 
<laughs> Yay, America! Um, I can see that. I have seen the defense. I finally got a 20 defense, but it had to be a great. Um. I haven't really gotten a 20 defense, but maybe it's just circumstances. But yeah, I have noticed that you get more life. Uh, then I think you're supposed to. Like you're supposed to get like between three and three to five. Speaking of prime in the in their prime of life, two to five. In, and that's what you get in the power, but in the swim, it's uh, it's not like that. It's like it's like they missed a decimal, or they fat fingered one and put two in, so it's times two what it should be. I'm almost broke. I'm almost broke. Okay, I'm going to take a quick break, um, I'm gonna leave it just so my memory, uh, because I forget, god look at those stats, don't they look good, I'm gonna leave, I'm gonna leave it right here, the, uh, the next level of life game, yeah, um, it seems like there, there are blocks that, that you're supposed to get for whatever reason. And then there's like an RNG factor after that. Um, I think I know what you're talking about. Or if you're talking about life. Three stars? I think three stars come at 700. But soon. I'm leaving it right there so I have a reminder for myself. I'm going to take a quick five minute break. And I'll be right back.